In the meantime, we can just chant slow. Free, free! 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 Free, Gaza, Gaza, we will go! We stand by you despite the snow. Rain or snow, thunder or shine. We'll always stand by Palestine. We'll always stand by Palestine. We'll always stand by Palestine. Okay, but the Mustafa's here. We'll do the one speech and then we'll go around the block. Thank you, everyone. Today, I am uh, not only sad, not only frustrated, but a bit angry too. Uh, I don't know how many of you have read the, the news of Hind, a four years old girl. She goes missing. Oh, yeah. The family goes after her. The family. Then the ambulance, the Red Crescent Ambulance, coordinating with the ITF. You know what ITF? ITF stands for Israeli Terrorist Forces. Yes. <laughs> coordinating with the Israeli Terrorist Forces, or ITF, that we are gonna go and look for this family. And once they go there, the same coordinates are used and the ambulance disappears, goes missing. What happens is, after five days, they find out that the baby was killed through a bombing, the family was killed by an ITF rocket, or missile, and then the ambulance too. Imagine when it's midnight and you see that, what happens to, to you sleeping? Like some people will say you are crazy while you are looking at that. But I'm looking at with a hope that the ceasefire might have prevailed. The global call might have been responded to. So, why frustrated? Frustrated because millions of people, like never before, have come out. N today, Justin Trudeau says, we are there to represent Canadians. No, you are representing Zionists. You are doing against everything a Canadian would vote for. No Canadian will be okay with kill, killing of children. No Canadian will be okay with a genocide. And why angry? Because when I was a refugee in another country, there was a bombing and we were upset with it, so we protested. The next thing, the next day, the intelligence of the country came to pick me up from my house just because I had participated in it. So we came to Canada. Guess what? Guess what? For two days, police is coming to my house, knocking on my door to issue a saman to me. Why? Because I participated in a rally. Imagine, Canada, and the same police that I'm telling the community to trust the most. These are the first and last people that we have to go to, seek protection. Weaponization of authorities is the rule of the authoritarian government, not a Canadian government that is trusted and respected around the world. People think it's a heaven here. 
that you are sending police to my house to harass me and my children. And I told them, I'm not going to receive it from you in my house, no matter how many times you come. I am here. Come issue it here. I'm standing here. Am I afraid? Yes. I'm a human being. Am I deterred? Never. Thank you. Free, free. Free, free. Free, free. Free, free. Go to the Mars, ladies and gentlemen. Free, free. Free, free. Free. Free, free. Gaza, Gaza, we will go. We stand by you despite the snow. We stand by you despite the snow. We're We'll always stand by Palestine. 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 Free, free. Free, free. Free, free. Free, free. Thunder or snow, thunder or shine, we'll always be there for Palestine. Rain or snow, thunder or shine, we'll always here for Palestine. Without further ado, I would like to call one more guest speaker and then we will we'll be done for today. We got Naomi Hunter, the par Green Party leader. She's here to give a few words. A round of applause for her. Thank you. Hello everyone, that we must keep meeting because our country is not acting on this humanitarian crisis. Shame, shame. Right now, when we look at situations, I was volunteer president of the board of the Regina Immigrant Women's Centre for many, many years. And I know that it is possible when Canada decides to act. And I was camped out right here in Saskatoon at City Hall when the Syrian refugee crisis was happening. Canada redoubled its efforts. They brought in, they threw up their borders. They brought in many, many more people. Well, here we have a humanitarian crisis much bigger than that. Where is the efforts? at making sure that the many, many Palestinian refugees are seeing family reunification here in Canada? Where is the efforts to make sure that we redouble our efforts for humanitarian aid? Why is our country silent? Now, I, I really calling everyone to watch the news. Israel prepared to attack Rafah. Rafah is a big city in the, no, uh, in the south of Gaza. Rafa has right now 1.5 million people living there. It's just only 55 kilometers square. You know how many people? Like 1.5 million. That means every two kilometers there is more than 27,000 people live. Right now, 1.3 million refugee from Gaza living in Rafah and Israel preparing and last night they signed the agreement to attack Rafah. You know what does that mean? Means more and more people gonna die. Just watch the news. Pray for the people there and let's just keep the pressure on, on the government. That's exactly what we want. I know it's cold but imagine what's going on for the kids and repeat the story, short story for Hind, probably everyone knew who is Hind right now. The 11 years old, she called 911 while she's traveling from the north to the south and then been attacked by the Israeli tank, by Merkava, one of the most strongest tank in the world. 
that little girl just tried to get help while five of her family did in the car. She was alive among five bodies, bleeding and calling for help. For 12 days, last night, they went to where she is and they found uh, six bodies, him and her cousins and her uncles, five of her families died on the whole world heard her like calling for help she won't help but they attack her and they knew she's in the car and they killed her and killed her cousins these that's the the, the, the government the, that's the, the army we are dealing with right now that's what exactly happening in gaza and hindi story is the story of the whole gaza people right now so let's pray for them and please watch the news. Hopefully they're not gonna get hit into Rafah because this is the last area they didn't attack, which is they're gonna like commit like a huge, a huge genocide there. Thank you for coming today. And we appreciate you guys. We know it's cold and uh, sorry for taking long. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Rafah is all of our children there. We have to think of it as our own. And I really, really, really commend everyone here for coming. Many people hear these things, but they don't really necessarily make an effort. I really commend everyone for coming out despite the cold. And I have a clear one message before we leave here. For the people in Palestine, every step of resistance Every moment of resistance is a step toward victory. Every moment of resistance is a step toward victory. And for us over here, a message, every moment of protest that we're doing out here is a step towards our victory of getting Canada to stop sending arms to Israel and getting Canada to act upon what they call for ceasefire. I commend everyone for coming. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week.